Hey friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to build a simple TCP client server program in Python programming language. So in this task, what we are going to do, we are going to have a client which is going to send a word in the lowercase to the server. The server is going to receive that word and convert this word from lowercase to uppercase and send it back to the client. So let's start with this. First of all, let's, let's import the socket library. Next, we are going to define the IP address and the port on which we are going to work. IP is equal to localhost 127.0.0.1. And port is going to be 1234. Okay. So, we are going to use both these IP address and the port for the client program also. Let's copy this thing in the client also. Now, let's go back to the server and create the server socket. So socket dot af I need to refer to the family of address that is IPv4. Here soc underscore stream means the type of protocol which we are using to communicate. Here I am using the connection oriented TCP protocol for communication instead of the UDP one. Next we are going to, next we are going to bind IP the port that is this address with this specific port using the bind function and it's going to take a tuple of IP and the port ok next we are going to listen for the clients and we will listen for the 5 client 5 means that 5 connections are kept waiting if uh, server is busy and if 6th if connection is trying to connect then the connection is going to be refused Next, if we receive a connection from the client, then what are we going to do? Let's create a loop here and the client, okay, let us. If some client is trying to connect, we're going to accept that connection from the client using this accept function. So the client variable is going to hold the socket for the client and address is going to hold the IP address and port for the client. Let's print a message here. Connection established. Uh, address, IP, and the port. Okay, now let's move the client program. Let's copy this line. This line is going to be remain the same. The client also. Now after this line, we're going to connect with this IP in the port. Okay. In client we need not to bind we just directly need to connect to the server and I'll in and this connect function also take it well, of the IP and the port okay which should not be common should be a dot and now let's check if the server and client are connected to each other Python server okay so this program is not closing it's waiting now let's run the client program okay so it has run successfully without any error okay so, so we can see connection established from the client with this address and this specific port okay, this means that both our functions both our uh, this client and server are communicating with each other now let's establish our main function where the client is going to send a word in the lower case to the server Let's continue with the client first. So we're going to receive that word or string from the client. Enter. Calling mistake. String. Now we need to send this string to the server. We're going to convert it this string in bytes. In the bytes function. Okay. Now we have sent it. Now the server is going to receive this. Let's go back to the server. 
of the server need to receive this string the string is equals to client dot receive 1024 okay so 1024 refer to the bytes number of bytes the server want to receive now we're going to decode this string using utf key now we have received this string let's print it and check what we have received from the client and let's say after this client is going to be closed you can close the connection the close this and run the server again okay okay so let's say a b d this is the string or word okay the server received the same characters a b c d now let's close the server and write the next program we are going to convert this string from lowercase to uppercase the string is equals to string dot upper okay now let's again run this program and check if the string is converted okay that is broken we need to change the port number here and the string. Is working now. Client A, B, C. You can see that the A, B, C, D, which is in lower case, is converted to upper case in the server. So the server has upper case A, B, C, D. Now we just need to send these A, B, C, D, the string to the client back to the client. Okay, in the port again, let's change it. Close any error. 444. Four. Okay. Now let's send this back to client. Client dot send. Now again we need to convert it to byte to byte form. String. Just yes, send it. Now we need to close the connection to the client. Now the client is going to receive this. So far is equals to server receive 1024 buffer is going to be decoded back to a string buffer dot decode using utf -A. okay now going to print what we seen from the server this program again server get this already in you 6677 let's hope the error does not occur this time okay no error is a b c okay this program is working we have sent a b c d in the lower case and we have received capital a b c d so the, this means that the program is working so client and server are communicating with each other and also exchanging messages so here the server act as a small uh, service so uh, server here performs a single function or of converting a lowercase string or word to an uppercase so like the we can send more words like india that's my name that's the name of my country and we have received the india in uppercase you can see the second connection is also established with the server so this is an example of a simple TCP client server program and you can use this program for different purposes you can modify the function of the server instead of just like converting uppercase you can do many other functions like addition you can send two integer to the server and server is going to add them and give you back the result or you can give a list of numbers and the server need to sort those lists so you can perform a whole lot of function i hope i was able to give you some new information and if i did then please grab the subscribe button till then keep calm and let the ai take over the world